Good morning, afternoon, or middle of the night. I am a person who has a name, but I intend on changing my name very soon. So, I'm not going to use either of them because I don't feel comfortable with that. I have several topics uh, that I kind of want to talk about today, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. I mean, first there's the obvious choice, Animal Crossing, Nintendo in general. They just launched a set of Sanrio X Animal Crossing Amiibo cards for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and... That was exciting and that was super fun and you know they were they were only releasing at Target at least here in the US they were only supposed to be two per person two see that one two two packs because they come in packs of six it's, it's all of the cards in one pack they're very inexpensive you know there are a lot of people that were definitely like wow okay I could actually afford that but then Target apparently didn't bother sticking to their word and, you know, only let people have two per person. So there were people that just bought out the entire stock and are now selling them for upwards of 50 to $200 on eBay. I was one of the fortunate few to get a pack legitimately maybe uh, <laughs> I originally was going to try for two because I have a friend that plays Animal Crossing I have a few friends that play Animal Crossing and I was like well if I can get them and they can't you know or they don't want them now but they decide they want them later you know I can loan them out or I can give them to them and it'll make it easier for all of us well I only ended up getting one pack because my sweet sweet partner <laughs> offered to wake up at 5 50 in the morning to order them so that i the person who typically wakes up at 10 30 11 and he so he offered to order them for me well apparently he woke up and i think if i'm remembering if i'm re recollecting right they were sold out by the time he got on there but he just kept hitting the refresh button and eventually a pack you know it popped up as oh well these are available and he tried several different stores he tried let's just say that i am thankful uh, that he offered to do it because i would have just freaked out and given up and been very very sad that i didn't get the amiibo cards but I did end up getting the Amiibo cards. Only one pack, only one set, but I'm not greedy. You know, I'm okay with that. That is not the end of the world. <laughs> uh, so I have currently only invited one villager onto each of my islands because I'm lazy and haven't bothered. Yeah. <laughs> I have Etoile, Etoile, I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that, on Ramaculus, which is my pink, very like pastel themed island, which is going nowhere currently because I have a whole bunch of houses stuffed together and I can't really decorate because there's no space. I mean, I can decorate, just the parts that are empty are empty and boring. So, and then on Rainbow, I have Marty. I was not originally sure if I would put any Sanrio villagers on Rainbow because Rainbow, well, it was previously mushroom themed, very green and red and yellow, you know. The only amiibo, you know, the only Sanrio villager that was even close to fit that was Toby, I believe is his name. Yeah, Toby. And so I was very hesitant. I was like, I don't know, you know, how this is gonna go. But since I've actually gotten them, or actually it was a few days before, whatever, I have started remodeling my 
I went, I totally took everything down, you know, almost flattened it. I didn't totally flatten it because I'm lazy. But I, I very close to flattened it and have started redecorating. And I deleted all of my design codes, deleted all of my, you know, I had a whole bunch of mushrooms that I had set down. I deleted all of them. And I have started anew with, it's more of a sunflower themed island, sort of sunflower slash library slash tea time, like very, I guess cottage core is the, the term for it, but like technically the way I decorated it last time was probably very cottage core. So uh, I don't really bother trying to come up with a term for it. It's just how it gets decorated and that's it. Uh, but yeah that all of that to say that I wasn't sure if there were going to be any Sanrio carrots, Sanrio villagers that fit on rainbow but since it is very yellow I invited Marty and he's adorable he's very yellow which is my favorite color uh so I'm excited I'm very excited they are currently both of the villagers have moved in, but their houses aren't set up yet. They're just like, this is their first day at both of my islands. So I have yet to see in, per in person <laughs> uh, how their houses look and everything. But I'm really excited to get to know them. And yeah, just really sad that there are so many people that couldn't get them. Or, you know, if they did decide that they wanted to just, you know, whatever I just want them I'm not gonna not gonna bother worrying about the fact that these people are definitely you know getting way more out of this than they should uh I'm you're super lucky if you have the money for that but <laughs> I'm really sorry for the rest of you that didn't get them because they were all gone like that I do hope that those of you who did get them are enjoying them and yeah I don't know if you can share amiibo cards or if you can how that works I have never used amiibos before this is my first time so I don't really know what's going on <laughs> uh, but yeah if there's a way of helping out you know friends that you trust that aren't just gonna steal them from you <laughs> I definitely try you know doing that because it is really really sad that they have been taken advantage of like this and really it was Target's fault but because you're not going to make unscrupulous people just go away but it's not either way and yeah part of me feels a little bit guilty for managing to get some even though I didn't do anything wrong I don't know I, yeah <laughs> I am very, very thankful that I got them. I did not want the makeup when it came out. I was not super interested. Like it was cute, but every single palette had a lot of glitter in it. And I'm not much into glitter. Like, yes, it's pretty, but I, I'm paranoid about it getting in my eye. I'm paranoid about, you know, how hard it is to wash off. Just where it goes after it's washed off. It's just not. It's just not my favorite thing. Uh, so I was not super into that. But then the Amiibo cards, you know, they were announced. And I was like, shoot, I want those. And, you know, it's okay if you don't get something. If you just don't care, like, whatever. I don't, I couldn't care less about this. So, you know, I guess cool if it gets sold out. But, like, the fact that I did actually care about the cards, I, yeah. I'm just, I'm just very thankful that I didn't have to go through the emotional turmoil of that because I have issues and that wouldn't have been fun. So, yeah. I don't know really what the point of this was other than the fact that I just wanted to sit here and talk about the... Luna Sanrio villagers. I will say they're all very cute. I'm kind of mad about all the hate that Rilla's been getting. I mean, the eight villagers 
not my favorite. I, I can't say that I just love them, but I adore Hello Kitty. And, you know, while I do think it's kind of ridiculous that they didn't just make her a kitty, like, there are cats in the game. Like, there are, there are cat characters. I mean, there's Rosie, there's, I don't know who will. Rosie's my favorite cat character. I, I don't care about anyone else. <laughs> Uh, but also, I don't see why she's getting all the hate she's getting because she's really cute and like, especially for a gorilla villager. Is that what they are? Are they gorillas? I don't know. Uh, but, like, she's really cute for, you know, she's not necessarily the cutest in general, but she's very cute and I love her furniture and don't be mean to Rilla. She's a nice girl. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, I'm so excited about the new furniture. I haven't really had a whole bunch of a problem. Like, yeah, it's hard to find some furniture just because the Nook Brothers are low. I don't even know what the word is. They don't have a huge variety in their shop, but I've also never really had a problem with that. I am perfectly fine with using the same thing over and over again in different colors because I have low standards and I really like repetition. <laughs> so it wasn't that big of a deal, but, but seeing more like specifically themed, you know, furniture and just a little more colorful furniture rather than just, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but I do, I do think it's a very, I think it's a very important uh, addition to the to the world of Animal Crossing and I'm absolutely not complaining about any of the furniture. I love it all. I don't love Toby's as much just because I don't feel it as much, but I love Etoile's. Etoile, Etoile. I love Rilla's furniture. I love Chai's furniture. Oh my gosh, Chai's furniture is so and Chelsea, oh my goodness, oh, it's so cute, okay, I, oh, I physically can't, it is so adorable, and I'm really happy that I actually have a pastel themed island now, because otherwise I would have either had to redo Rainbow immediately, or just not use them for the next year or so, or however long it took me to decide that I wanted to redecorate because they did not fit in with my theme on Rainbow, except for Marty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for showing up and listening to me ramble about things that you probably don't care about. Although I guess if you clicked on the video, you probably care about it because you don't click on videos that are about things that you're not interested in, but Anyways, thank you for showing up. I know I'm not that special. I know I'm not that important or interesting, but you chose to dedicate your time to me anyways, and I appreciate that. So have a beautiful morning, evening, middle of the day, whatever it is, wherever you are. <laughs> and yeah, visit again soon, please.